Recently, you have been coming across several papers mentioning deep learning potentials and you might have wondered, what are deep learning potentials? How do they differ from interatomic potentials I use in my molecular dynamic simulations? Are they better? And should I move on to this developing field of deep learning for materials? Yes, these questions and more will be addressed in these next few set of videos. So before moving forward, like and subscribe so that you can stay updated on new videos. Also, this will help with the YouTube algorithms. Let's begin with first discussing what are potentials. Potentials are interatomic potentials that describe the interaction between a pair of atoms or the interaction of an atom with a group of atoms in a condensed phase. Potentials must have both attractive and repulsive components. This plot here shows potential energy as the function of lattice spacing between two atoms in a solid. Each atom in the ideal crystalline solid experiences the same potential due to the other atoms in the material. Deep potential well formed at the nearest neighboring distance R0 is binding energy between these two atoms. This representation of atomic interaction is used in atomistic computer simulations to solve problems in chemistry, physics, and material science. This function, potential energy surface, is a multidimensional real valued function, providing the potential energy of a system as a function of atomic positions. Therefore, the accuracy of these potential energy functions is of high importance. Real potential energy functions are very difficult and costly to compute. Now, potential energy functions come in different variations and varieties with different physical motivations. For even a single element, variety of potentials in different functional forms have been developed. Concept of potential energy surface is founded on the Born-Oppenheimer approximations of quantum mechanics. If the atomic positions, nuclear charges, and total charges are known, potential energy of a system is fully defined by its Hamiltonian and represents two accurate potential functions. These computation, DFT, are very computationally demanding and thus are restricted to small atom configurations and simulation times. Another set of potentials are developed by introducing physical approximations. These analytical potentials provide a much simpler direct relation between the structure and its energy and can be calculated much faster. Of course, this compromises efficiency and accuracy in the picture. These potentials are usually referred to as parametric because they have been developed with fixed number of physical terms and approximations. You can learn about them in details elsewhere. I have given links in the description section below. In most cases, the essential feature of the atomic interaction are reasonably described, but there is a trade-off between accuracy and computational cost here. The new non-parametric potentials developed from machine learning and deep learning aim to combine advantages of both since these potentials are developed by using local atomic neighbor descriptor, a concept which we will discuss in the next video, total number of terms and parameters are flexible here. These can be more accurate as they are not tied to any physical form and parameters. Requirements to be met by non-parametric potentials are very similar to the conventional parametric potentials. Of course, evaluations using these potentials should be fast, at low computation cost. Human effort should be minimum in their development. They should be able to work on non-complicated input. These potentials should not be restricted to specific type of atomic interactions. And most importantly, they should be accurate in their energy, force, and stress predictions. The first surge in interest on these potentials was seen in 90s, and since then, several ML-based methods have been employed into developing these potentials. Early potentials simply relied on artificial neural networks for energy predictions and were applicable to systems containing up to six atoms. Starting 2007, several approaches based on high-dimensional neural networks 
and convoluted neural networks have become available which are applicable to thousands of atoms. These methods are still evolving as there are still several requirements that have not been met by these potentials yet. In upcoming videos, I will describe prominent methods in more detail and how you can select best one for your material based on your available data. So now let's describe deep learning potentials. Employs deep learning to construct a direct functional relation between the atomic configurations and its energy. These do not contain any physical approximations apart from chosen reference electronic structure method used in their construction and a consistent set of electronic data used in their generation. Currently, deep learning potentials are being used to predict properties of old and new structures in the material science. However, there are few major challenges associated with construction of deep learning potentials. The first step in this process is finding the most adequate set of descriptor which will transform atomic configurations as suitable neural network input while also conserving important radial, angular and interatomic informations. And then the second step is choosing adequate deep learning methods suitable for your material. All of these will be discussed in upcoming videos in detail along with more unsolved challenges. So you can subscribe to get updates on the latest videos. You can also check my earlier playlist on KMC if you are new to this channel. Thank you for watching.